Hey there folks and friends connecting dots here. It's uh, January the 12th, 2014, 2015 and um, it's Monday here and I'm not sure if you saw the video I uploaded yesterday and I just uploaded this one here an hour ago and I'm going to get into that because a, a couple of people left comments and I want to tackle uh, the comments that were left here regarding this incident with the police. Uh, now let's get into this video. If you haven't seen it, it's up on the screen right now. Go watch it. A little heads up here. I do swear. It's my uh, first time ever here on YouTube where I kind of curse and swear and it's my 2015 resolution I'm kind of doing it my way my way or the highway is basically the way it's going from now on and I really don't care so if you don't like the swearing um, don't watch the video and you may as well unsubscribe right now sorry bye bye okay the rest of you so hang tight man I said 2015 full gear it's going into full gear the gloves are off already these these sons of bitches don't even know yet that's the problem I've already taken my gloves off the hard knuckles are coming out no I'm not going to actually hit them you know I've said that many times I'm not into violence I'm hitting my keyboard that's what I'm hitting punching in the truth uploading the truth so these pieces of shit yes I'm talking about the Beautiful girl by Dana, a.k.a. Dana Dernford, Kevin D. Blanche, Thomas Ackerman, Radchick, Miss Milkative Clown, Missing Sky 102, the Fukushima Hounds, all a bunch of lying bastards. That's the way I see it. Straight up here, folks. And as I said in that video, there's a lot of stuff that these people don't know that are, that's going on in the background. And they're going to be, oh boy, they're going to be so surprised. And I love surprises, don't you? It's going to be fun, trust me. Okay, so one of the things I got going... And I'm, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it now. It's, it's just it's coming to an end, or I should say to a closing. And we also got another case. It's whatever. I'm not going to spill all the beans, but just hang tight. It's going to be fun. Like I said, there's people in the background that care about the bullshit that's been done on YouTube to Jeff Palco. I know a lot of people don't give a shit. See you later. Unsubscribe. Sesame Street's there for you. Okay? Those of you that care, well, I gotta say, there's a lot of you that you know all you, you know you don't have time to get in there, get your hands dirty. Well, there's people that do care, and things are going to rock here. So one of the things that I will talk about that's taking place is Terry uh, Daniels. You may recall Terry Daniels. Is, his real name is actually Terry Daniel. It's a French name. Uh, Terry Daniel was a gentleman here who lives in Powell River, a friend of a uh, beautiful girl by Dana, uh, Dana Dernford. Um, who had sponsored that initial nine-day trek along the Sunshine Coast. If you recall, him and Dana had jumped in a car and they traveled 200 kilometers along the Sunshine Coast for a nine-day period and they came back with a bunch of pictures. We were told at that time that Dana had, didn't have access to the beach because he couldn't walk and he was in a wheelchair. <laughs> I think by now many of you realize that's nothing but bullshit. If you're wheelchair bound, the last thing you're going to be doing is out on the ocean by yourself. Okay? Come on. Okay. It's, it's pretty obvious. Uh, and anyhow, the point was is that they went out on these, um, this nine day. They took a bunch of pictures. They came back. And we found out that Terry was a gentleman who had funded the tour, the nine days, right? He paid for it. We saw him in the background in the first few videos here and there. But then when I came out with the, uh, the big punchline, how he had scammed his past, uh, um, at his past employment, he'd pa ripped off the, um, the boss here by taking money out the, out the side cash, money that the boss couldn't, prove that it had been put there. Uh, well, you may have heard the radio interview. Well, I guess Terry heard it also because he's out of the picture. Good thing Terry left because here's the thing, folks. That whole scene, boy, you have no idea how hot that is in the background. And I got to, you know, I hate Google and YouTube, how the censorship that they put on me here, how they've taken my way to my rights to even leave comments or send emails to people. But I love the fact that on YouTube, how you make a video and people can connect with you. So I've actually connected people together in Powell River. And boy, oh boy, there's a lot going on in Powell River that Dana and Terry don't know but I'm gonna let you in on some of it okay folks hang tight and I'm gonna let you in a lot more in, as we close this whole thing so the first thing that we found out here is that Terry's brother had passed away very sad but what you, you know what's really disgusting about it <laughs> Terry went back and ripped off his sister-in-law and I'm not making that shit up I got the emails I'm trying to talk to her into an interview, and well, if Terry, if you're still wondering if I'm full of shit or not, 
Well, you'll see the police report, I guess, they'll come in knocking on your door soon because uh, one of the problems with her initial charges that she wanted to lay against this fucking criminal was the fact that she had no witnesses. Well, good old YouTube has helped me connect up some witnesses, and yeah, the charges are going down. So you sons of bitches, you bunch of fucking scammers, lying fucking scammers, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming your way, and you have no idea. And I'm not going to say any more because I really, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, and not that it would ruin anything at this point, but... I'm going to wait till I get full closure on this and then I can prove the paperwork and you people can say, holy shit. Yeah. Unbelievable. Fucking scammer, Terry. So sca the scamming Terry here who ripped off his past uh, employee for over, well, if you heard the radio interview, he figured over $30,000 had gone missing. Um, well, it turns out he ripped off his... His, his dead brother's wife, the fucking asshole. You fucking asshole. You fucking asshole. You're fucking going to get it. I'm fucking so happy. You know, you're not going to get it. Again, I'm not promoting violence. The police are going to get you, you son of a bitch. Anyways, other hot news. Oh, I wish I could spill it all, but I can't. I'm waiting. Um, as far as the Palco Fund, I'd mentioned that in a video. Uh, I was informed today that they'd gone to the bank. Uh, they've made an, an, an appointment. They're going in on Wednesday, I believe 12.30 p.m. Uh, as soon as I find out the exact information on the funds, don't worry. The videos are coming out. The petition's coming out. These sons of bitches are going bye-bye. So, uh, and you may have noticed here, folks, look at there's 556 views. Well, when I got up this morning, it was 511, I believe, and it was 53 thumbs up. I'm like, wow, that's the first time I'd gotten 53 thumbs up, and I don't even know how long, honestly. Um, I was shocked, and there was only 13 thumbs down. I was like, wow, where's all the thumbs down? And I came back 20 minutes later, and it was 54 thumbs down. <laughs> so uh, you guys go ahead and have a, a great old time knocking me down with a thumbs down. As you may realize, tough, tough here. That stuff don't scare me. People know I'm the real, the real thing. The real McCoy. Okay, going to the selling ammo in the USA. If you haven't seen the video here, I'll get into a very short clip of it here so you can see what this was all about. What's up, guys? What's going on? Not a lot. Not a lot? Why are you guys doing this? Because we have the right to, sir. It's 100% legal. Just trying to make a little extra money. No, don't answer, don't, don't answer any of his uh, questions. We have an absolute right to this. Don't answer any of his questions. Can I see your guys' Absolutely not. license, please? Absolutely not. We don't, we're not required to have a license. Check your law, sir. You're not required Absolutely to have a not. business license Absolutely to sell not, sir. items? Absolutely not, sir. Check your law. It's our constitutional right. You can check into the city and California laws. Go ahead. And we, su we suggest that you go do that. We've already been had the officers out here earlier, so we have every right to do this. Well, I... I understand. Can I can I see three forms? No, he doesn't understand. So he sh he should shut the fuck up and go take that young man's advice, okay? And I'm just I'm looking at it. If I was a police officer and this gentleman had just rattled this shit off to me, I'm like, okay, hold on a second. Maybe he's got something there. But here's the best of it. If he had his listening ears on, which I caught from the very beginning, um, he would have noticed that uh, the young man had already told him that uh, two other blue boys had come out here and uh, they had scattered off here when they found out that it's within their constitutional right to sell ammo anywhere they choose to do so. So I'm not going to get into the comments here. Um, there they are, and now they're gone. And by the way, Mark, Mark, Okay, didn't delete your comment yesterday on that other video. It's because I uploaded them at Connecting Dots 3 and Connecting Dots 2 and you got confused that you left comments on Connecting Dots through uh, on Connecting Dots 2 video and then you went over to Connecting Dots 3 and realized they weren't there. And anyways, the rest is history. Your your comments are still there and delete them. But what's important here fact uh, here folks is the fact that if you have the right to do something, 
then as far as I can see in the, in the very beginning, and the link's up there, you can go watch this entire video, N not at a single time that this young man get abusive, verbally abusive. He was extremely polite, in fact. Oh yeah, he may have been, um, you know, a little quick sometimes in his rebuttal or even, you know, uh, come back with a quicker response. And I, I don't want to hear the bullshit about ADHD, okay? I don't want to hear that shit. Because I, although I have not been diagnosed with it, uh, I've read up on it. My my son was taking the damn pill for a while, that damn Ritalin, till he told his mother, "Take that shit and shove it where the sun don't shine." I'm like, "Hooray! Fuck! Fourteen years I was after her to fucking get rid of that shit." Anyways, that's history. The fact is, it's the fact that these people um, come in here, and I'm not talking about the gentleman there. <laughs> Give me a fine name. Of, you know, you can say what you want about AD and ADHD and whatnot, but I'm going to tackle what was said elsewhere, or what else you said in that comment. And that was about the fact about they should be selling their ammo elsewhere. Well, here's what I got to say to you: If you're allowed to ride your skidoo anywhere, are you going to tell me the day it snows you're not going to take your skidoo out of your backyard and go skidoo elsewhere? Hell yeah! Because that's what I did back in Quebec when I was a kid. I couldn't fucking wait for the snow to get over three feet so I could go over everyone's fence with my snowmobile and then it came into one great big huge highway. And yes, you were allowed to run on the highway for on the side of the highway for a short distance onto the next track. So my advice to anyone, know your rights and if you have the right to sell ammo anywhere, then damn well exercise your right. Okay, folks, that's all I got to say to you. Watch the video, learn your rights, and remember, the police, when they come and see you, the court session is on. It's not after he's written the court, the, the ticket or the violation, that you end up in court and now the court's on. No, one of the big things I've learned, the moment he opens up his mouth and speaks to you, court is in session. It's up to you, it's up to, you to remember and know your rights and exercise them and place the sons of bitches in their place because police have have a habit of not telling you what your rights are and in fact abusing their rights as a police officer to get the dirty dirt that they need to possibly hit you up on some type of ticket on something so my advice to you is know your rights and damn it, you know, I wish I had a constitution in Canada. Oh, you're saying, oh, yeah, we do, yeah. It's a fucking Pierre Ilya Trudeau fucking bullshit. Come on, guys, wake up. A New World Order agent. Look at his son, Mr. Trudeau. What's his name? That's how irrelevant that whole family's become to me. Uh, Justin, I think that's his name, Justin. I th anyways, I can't remember. The fact is we have another one here of these fucking pieces of shit Trudeau up there trying to get up in Parliament, and he's calling himself the Prince of Pot. Well, folks, I'm telling you the truth here, that our real Canadian Prince of Pot, he's over in your U.S. jail because our fucking cock-sucking fucking piece of shit government decide to arrest him no, no, you're saying, no, no, it was our, no, it was our government that allowed your government to come over here and grab him, okay? We have the same piece of shit elitists that run our country that run the United States and run Europe and run China. If you people can't figure this out, I feel really sad for you. Hang tight, because I said, the gloves are off in 2015. I'm going after these pieces of shit, and no, it's not violence with me. It's about speaking the truth, as I just mentioned regarding this officer. There were no major phone calls regarding people selling ammo. And if there were, he already knows that they were responded to. Or he's flat out making a bullshit lie statement, which is what I think. I think he's lying. Because if you listen to the whole video, the gentleman know, uh, mentions how once he noticed the sign, he quickly whipped his car around. That sounds like an absolute police tactic to me. This is the way they behave, these boys in blue. How would I know? dealing with the pieces of shit for years. Are they all pieces of shit? Hell no. One of my best friends is an RCMP officer. He caught the minister of New Brunswick bootlegging off his yacht. Do you think the minister of New Brunswick went to jail for bootlegging? Fuck no. They were told to destroy all the evidence. What's disgusting is my friend had spent the last three and a half years in New Brunswick 
busting small time regular folks like you and I that had no jobs and had started bootlegging to make ends meet. Who were they getting their booze from? The piece of shit minister. I'll get into him another time, but I just want to let you know that the world that you live in is much more corrupt than you think it is. So be careful of police and know your law. Know your rights.